The Central Asian Shepherd or Alibi is a very ancient, courageous, independent and strong working dog breed. In this video I will tell you all you need to know about the Alibi. I would love to thank these Instagram profiles for letting me use their photos and videos. If you will like the alibi and you would love to see more of it, definitely check them out. Links are in description. The Central Asian Shepherd is officially recognized by the FCI, so the appearance description will be mostly based on this official breed standard. According to it, the Alibi is a dog of harmonious build and large stature. This breed's main purpose is to work, to be more specific, to guard the livestock, which is why they must be strong, muscular and robust. The breed is also famous for its massive head. There are quite big differences between the males and females because the males are more massive, they have larger head and they are more courageous. The average height of the Central Asian Shepherd should be between 65 to 95 centimeters, which is 26 to 37 inches, and weight is typically between 50 to 100 kilograms, which is 110 to 220 pounds. The females are much lighter than the males. The alibi can be either long-haired or short-haired. The coat should be dense with heavy undercoat which protects them in harsh weather. The most common colors are white, fawn, black and brindle. The Alibi is a very old dog breed, developed by a natural selection. As the breed developed, three different breed types developed according to purpose and those are herders, dog fighters and livestock guardians. And their personality should match their purpose. But of course that all the lines of Central Asian Shepherds share similar personality. They should always be smart, confident, brave, protective and independent. This breed is known to be fearless and they are able to stand up against any predator, for example a leopard or a wolf. This breed is also naturally territorial and they are very hard working. The alibi dog loves to have some kind of a job, they want some physical and mental stimulation to be happy. If you are not using them for working purposes, you can try some dog sport, task oriented playtime or longer training session to keep them occupied. On the other hand, when this breed is around its family and owners, they tend to be quite calm, self-assured, quiet and loyal. They should never show any aggression towards their people, this is pretty devoted breed. It's important to mention that especially the dogs used for dog fights differ from those who are used as herders or livestock protectors. They are just more aggressive. The breeder should always tell you if the dog comes from lines used for fighting. Because of the dog's protective and territorial temperament and big strength, this is definitely not a dog for novice or unexperienced dog owner. They need patient and firm trainer who knows how to properly socialize a young dog and who knows how to show him boundaries. But if you train and socialize your alibi properly, you will have extraordinary loyal and courageous companion by your side. Normally this dog can live with other dogs, especially with other alibis or even with cats, especially if they are raised together from the puppyhood. They also like children, so they really can make good family companions, but you should always monitor the situation between the dog and the child. The Central Asian Shepherd has different nicknames, but there is a one that should give you an idea of the dog's strength. And the nickname is Volkodov, which is Russian for Wolf Crusher. And indeed, the alibi would stand against a wolf if needed. It is believed that this is one of the most ancient breed of dogs and according to the breed standard they were formed as a breed from natural selection during more than 4000 years in the West Territory, which spreads nowadays from the Caspian Sea to China and from Southern Ural to Afghanistan. It is impossible to track down breed's ancestry when the breed is this ancient, but it's believed that they are somehow related to other very old breeds, the Tibetan Mastiff and Mongolian Shepherd Dog. This is not a hyperactive breed, but they do have high endurance and stamina and need daily proper exercise. It is a worker after all, so they need some kind of a work in their life to stay healthy and happy. Great fact is that this is a low maintenance breed that doesn't need much grooming. They are very easy to groom and brushing their coat let's say once a week is enough to keep it in top condition. 
Just like majority of breeds developed by a natural selection, this is extremely healthy dog. Because of their large size, they can be prone to hip and elbow dysplasia. The average lifespan should be between 12 to 15 years. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Central Asian Shepherd and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on, check our Instagram, Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.